you'll see that this first pass, you may notice it from hearing the plane and seeing the shavings. There's some areas right around here and here that the plane is skipping. And in order to actually get a nice sheen on the surface, you have to take continuous shavings. And the continuous shavings are sort of key to, uh, to that because the, the starts and stops are very noticeable on a plane surface. So what I'm doing is taking overlapping plane strokes. So you'd miss right here, actually right here, across the entire surface. First, when I put the surface together, it was fairly flat. So I know that if I'm taking these continuous shavings like this, I'm basically just working the surface to be flat. By bringing down the level of the highs to the point where they meet the lows. This is just sort of what happens over the course of leaving this piece of wood, which I left for something like three months between assembly or initial planing before assembly and final planing. The wood moves, flat sawn areas obviously move differently from rift sawn areas. The result is a surface that really isn't out of flat terribly, but out of flat enough that you're not going to be taking continuous plane strokes on first couple passes. The way that I do these overlapping passes will eventually make a hollow in the center of the board, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. As a hollow board, for the most part, meaning a little bit of a dip in the center here, will look a little flatter than a board that is um, bowed outward. You can see those areas slowly disappearing that were initially skipping like that. Starting to get nice continuous passes across the majority of the board. It's a little hollow here. What seemed like what it may take a little while when I first started actually seems to uh, be going pretty quickly at this point. A couple more passes and I'll probably have continuously flat surface. Now, the reason why I'm skewing the plane is that I want to start without a chatter, and uh, skewing the plane helps avoid that possibility of a chatter. Throughout the course of the planing, the plane is going to get a little duller, and the chance of a chatter at the start is uh, going to go up. 
but the fling's not going to be dull enough that you'll want to stop and re refresh the edge. Taking fairly light passes, I don't really want to change the dimension of the panel greatly. I just want to level it out. The fact that it's joined on both ends with dovetails will keep it from getting terribly out of flat over the course of its life, which is sort of the purpose of joinery, in addition to holding the case together. important to come in from the ends when you're doing a chamfer. Last thing I want to do after you make a nice panel is blast a corner off the end, which can happen. Now what you can do, if this isn't flat enough, feel the ridges. There's fairly, there's almost no ridges that are noticeable on this panel, but if I were going over this and feeling ridges, you could go over it again in that specific area with the plane and take out those ridges. Now what I'll likely do, since I don't feel that this is actually shiny enough, is take apart the plane, put another edge back on the, uh, on the blade and take another round.